Hello and welcome to GMBN Tech. Today I'm going to show you how to do a lower leg service or refresh the oil in your forks. Now this should be a five minute job for a confident or an experienced mechanic, but if this is your first time, then check out the link in our description where Doddy does a far more detailed video. However, if you want a quick run through or a refresher, stick with me. So you should absolutely be working with a clean set of forks so that no dirt falls in there and there's no damage to your forks. It's also a lot quicker and easier to work with them off the bike. Now you wanna take that cap off over the rebound dial if you have one and you'll have a two mil bolt on holding on your rebound dial. So just go easy with that, be gentle with it. It shouldn't be done up too tight and it will be a little bit spring loaded sometimes. So careful it doesn't fire across the workshop. You'll have a little one, a spring, and then the bigger one. Set that aside. So you'll have two foot nuts on the bottom holding the lowers on. Mine is a 15 mil for the bigger one over here. And you'll just wanna set that to lefty loosey or anti-clockwise. And just undo it a little bit, just so it's loose. And then my other one is a 10 mil. And then all you wanna do is loosen them about halfway along the threads. And then we're gonna use our bolts and a hammer, a gentle plastic end to tap them and shock them free. So we can undo those screws now and give your crush washers a check over. They should have nice square edges, otherwise you're gonna to need to replace them. And the little one should have a little crush washer. Sometimes they're stuck up here. If for any reason your lowers aren't coming off with a little tap, chances are crush washers got a little bit jammed in your lowers. I think that one needs replacing. Mine are a little bit chewed up, so I'm gonna use some new ones. At this point, I like to put some gloves on. I've got some nitrile gloves here just to protect my hands and also keep them clean and then get it over your tray or a bucket or an old bag or something to collect the oil. Make sure your O-rings at the top and just give them a good pull. And there, it should all drain out. And then it's cleanup time. Now, as this is a refresher and I keep on top of maintenance, I just like to wipe things down and then refresh the oil. If uh, your oil is really black or dirty or you've somehow got grit in there, then you might want to clean these properly with some soapy water. I also have an old outer cable, which I like to wrap with some blue roll. You can use a tool or an old cloth or a towel or a t-shirt or something to basically clean out the lowers, basically trying to be as gentle as possible, not to scratch the lowers with anything. So a soft cable is my preference. And you can also push the blue roll back out if it gets stuck down. So that's one side. And do give them a quick inspection into the light, make sure there's nothing in there dirt wise, no scratches or anything like that. At this point, it's up to you if you want to use a pick to pull the foam rings out from underneath the seals here and you can re-lube them up, clean them, re-lube them. Mine are looking in really good nick, so I'm just gonna add some oil to my lowers. They should be good to go. So in order to do that, we're going to put the lowers back really carefully. Make sure you've got it the right way around. Just poke the stanchions through the seals gently. Line them up a little bit. It should go on with a gentle nudge, no force here. And then make sure your threads come out the bottom. Everything lines up fine. And then in my stand, I tend to drop these down and hold them upside down. And just pop those threads back in a little bit so that we can put the oil in there and it won't spill anywhere. So, 
for my Fox 38s, I need 20 weight in the air side bath. So the air side bath is basically your lower on the air side, which is where you put the air in. So for me, 20 weight. So for these Fox 38s, it's 20 cc's of 20 weight. So that is 20 mil. And then because I've got a grip to damper, I need some five weight in the damper side. So the damper side is the non-air side or the bit where you put your rebound. If you have a fit four like me, then it'll be 40 cc's of five weight. If you have a grip two, it's actually different. I believe it's 15 cc's of 20 weight. If you have any other forks, like RockShox, DBO, Marzocchi, whatever, then look for your service manual and it will tell you what oil you need of what quantity. They'll all be different. You don't want to overload it or use oil that's not correct for your forks because it can hamper the performance. So you've refreshed everything and now it's just a case of putting it all back together in reverse order. So you'll get your bolts with your new crush washer if you needed it. So the little one on the little thread, big one on the big thread with your new big crush washer if you needed it. And then check your manufacturer's spec or your service manual to see what torque setting these are. For my Fox 38, it's five newton meters and use my torque wrench, already set to five newton meters. So my big one, 15 mil. Now these don't need a lot of torque, five newton meters might seem gentle, but the crush wash is there to seal them in. So it's perfectly adequate. And then it's the rebound dial. So you want your big bit on first, Make sure it's the right way round and it should slot onto the bigger bit. Then you've got your spring and your lower dial. Sometimes these can move in, just make sure it's out enough. Get it onto there and then it's back up to the two mil Allen key. And bear in mind that this is a tiny, tiny bolt with no more than two newton meters. It is just nipping it up because that thing is not going to come off. So you just need to clean her up, pop the cap back on, and they're ready to go back on the bike, all nice and refreshed. Well, hopefully you found that useful, and if you like our five minute maintenance classes, then do give us a big old thumbs up, and if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching.